Hi, this is Frank Kane from Sundog Software, here to talk about the Silverlining Lightspeed Integration Package. Silverlining is an SDK you can use to add dynamic time of day effects, uh, physically realistic skies, 3D volumetric clouds, weather effects, and physically based outdoor scene lighting to your application. This is Silverlining being used within Visera.com, which is a high dynamic range setting. If you're not using HDR, we also support tone mapping for you automatically, so it handles the dynamic range of the sky automatically. Let's do some uh, dynamic time of day effects here. You can see that you can smoothly move from dawn to dusk to night to, to noontime, any time of day you want uh, for any simulated location and set of conditions you want. So that looks really nice. Let me show you how easy it is to integrate silver lining into your Gamebryo application. I've opened up the multiplayer demo from the Kickstart package here. And the first thing we're going to do is get rid of the existing sky dome, obviously, and also we're going to get rid of the existing lighting outside, all the spotlights there. Silver lining will actually compute the, the physically realistic light for your conditions and your time of day and your location. So it will actually scatter that light through the atmosphere and uh, tone map that down for you. So we can get rid of all these lights and silver lining will just automatically and dynamically make the lighting what it should be for the conditions that you're specifying. So now that we've got those out of the way, first thing we're going to do is add a reference to the Silverlining entity models. These come with the integration package along with full documentation, demos, uh, sample code, all that good stuff. And now that we've got that in there, we're going to drag in our sky object, our directional light source, which is based on that physical simulation, uh, some cirrus clouds, and let's do some cumulus congestus clouds as well. And there they are. That is all there is to it. That was pretty quick. Um, we can actually go ahead and uh, start to tweak some of the conditions here and make it look however we want to. Uh, we're going to adjust the time of day here to settle on some good conditions that we think look good. And notice that as I change the time of day, the lighting on the scene is also changing with it. We've actually tied that directional light source to the physical conditions here. So you don't need to worry about doing that yourself. It's all automatic and physically realistic. Uh, there's a lot of other things you can tweak here too, like the atmospheric turbidity, which is basically the uh, the pollution in the in the air, uh, the ground albedo, the Perez coefficients. I mean, basically you can tweak this to be whatever you want to. That looks really nice. Some uh, some nice early morning lighting there. I'm going to reduce the visibility here to help the clouds in the distance blend into the sky a little bit better. And let's also add a little bit of wind to the scene. That'll make the clouds actually move in the background, which is a nice effect too. Again, these are real 3D volumetric clouds. If I wanted to, I could actually fly up to them, fly through them, fly around them, and it would all look, uh, it would all look realistic. Let's open that up and admire our work. That looks really nice. Next thing I want to show you is what this looks like in action. So once I export this scene, that's really all there is to it. Um, from a programming standpoint, you just need to integrate the silver lining service into your app takes about 10 minutes and there's sample code to help you with that in the integration package. Let me show you what this looks like in the Mangled Metal demo. We've uh, done the same thing there where we've taken out the Sky Dome and replaced their lighting with our own. And you can see here what uh, Mangled Metal looks like with uh, physically realistic skies for, I think this is also about 5.30 in the morning, with about 30% uh, cumulus congestus coverage with a layer of cirrus clouds above them as well. And it's all very smooth, very performant, very fast. Uh, we support PC, uh, DirectX 9, 10, or 11 renderers. And if you want to get more information, check out our website at www.sundog-soft.com. And you can get a free evaluation SDK there. Check it out for free of charge. Licensing information, screenshots, demos, all that good stuff. And for the integration package itself with Lightspeed, you can grab that either from our website, again, sundog-soft.com, or from pulse.emergent.net in the partners area. You'll find the latest integration package there. Thanks a lot for your time.